A new Nikon firmware update has sprung. This time for the Nikon Z FC, Nikon's first uh, retro camera in the Z series, an APS-C camera. Now it's not a huge update, but it does include some interesting changes. The changes from C firmware version 1.50 to 1.60 include more background color options now available for the information display item in the setup menu and it added a welcome screen item in setup menu a welcome screen will be displayed when the camera is turned on also added a red record frame indicator to the custom settings menu in position g7 finally it fixed an issue that release mode could not be properly adjusted using the fn button in auto mode when release mode was assigned to the fn button that's not a huge change, but it does squash a little bug there. Let's talk about that startup screen. Now it's very interesting because what you're able to do here is choose from different colors. In fact, all the different colors from the Nikon ZF, that is the skin colors. So it enables all those colors in the setup menu. Now I don't own the camera myself, and so I have to thank my good friend down under, Matt Irwin, who's uh, given me these uh, this b-roll here so we can take a look at these options isn't that interesting now i don't know m maybe you could say it's just uh, cosmetic but i kind of like the idea in fact i wonder could it come to the nikon zf i would be interested in seeing that i'd love to have that on my nikon zf yeah it's just it's just kind of cool i really like it i like the idea and i like the idea that nikon sprung that on owners of the nikon zfc you know it kind of just signals that Nikon is interested in uh, its older cameras because let's see when did the Nikon ZFC launch now I didn't buy it at the time because I was expecting that indeed they would come out with what was eventually the Nikon ZF and I did buy that camera and it's just had recently had updates and so has the Nikon Z8 so uh, I'm going to repeat it here again. I think that Nikon has become the new Kazan King with these uh, regular firmware updates. It's really great to see and, and I think gives us confidence overall. Uh, and something else I'm going to say again, I know that owners of the Nikon Z62 and Z72, they're not quite so happy. They haven't <laughs> been gifted so much in the way of these firmware updates. And I, I really don't, don't have anything more to say on that other than yeah, that's too bad. Hopefully something will come in the future. And at least for those of us here in the Northern Hemisphere, it's a good time to uh, spring this on us, just as the first blossoms are promising spring. Although I must say it's pretty cold here right now. We actually had another little drop of snow this morning for the second day in a row. It burns off by the afternoon but it is pretty cold. It's been down to about minus two Celsius the last uh, couple of days. But nonetheless, the blossoms are showing, <laughs> they're showing us promise that warmer times are coming. So I foresee myself spending more time down on the river here with perhaps the Nikon ZF or my Z8 or Z9, probably with my telephotos as things start to pick up here. As I say, spring is here and we'll be seeing pretty soon here more wildlife action on the river. Um, I can actually hear kingfishers right now, but uh, I'm not equipped <laughs> to shoot kingfishers right now, if I ever am, really. And oh, that glimpse of the ZF, you might notice that it's still uh, ensconced in the cage that I reviewed recently from Small Rig. This is the Small Rig cage for the Nikon ZF. And actually, like right now, it's doing a good job with its uh, commodious grip. I didn't bring a second side handle for it. I wish I had now, actually, because it's really great. I wanted, I'm i doing some panning here. I should say that I'm recording the main video here with a GoPro, um, an older GoPro Hero, what is it, 8. And it's doing an okay job. It's pretty good when I just wanna uh, jump in the car and run down here. But the actual reason that I'm using the GoPro is I wanted to give a glimpse of the Nikon ZF and I'm going to be shooting some b-roll with the Nikon ZF with its beautiful 10-bit internal 4k video. Not that the Nikon ZF isn't a worthy vlogging camera, perhaps not with this lens here. This is the 40 millimeter f2. It's a little bit uh, narrow. I think a wider angle lens is probably better for vlogging. 
But yeah, um, as I said before, it, it is a little bit heavy. And especially <laughs> when I'm trying to navigate on cobbles. But yeah, absolutely with its flippy screen, the Nikon ZF, there's no reason that it can't be used for vlogging. Although you might want to hit the gym. <laughs> there's no doubt that it's going to look better. How much better? We'll see than the GoPro camera. Let me know in the comments below whether you think it's worthwhile trying to use the Nikon ZF for vlogging, uh, as it is somewhat designed to do, again with the flippy screen. Let me know in the comments below what you think in terms of the IQ between the GoPro and the Nikon ZF. So it's not the first time that I've tried vlogging with the Nikon ZF and this lens. I've been doing quite a bit of experimentation actually and in fact I was just down here on this river in a snowstorm just a few weeks back. And again I don't think that this lens is perfect <laughs> when it comes to vlogging but it is a nice lens. I love the 40 millimeter f2. Oh the other thing is that I'm just this is the inbuilt mic which probably is <laughs> not that great but again, I've never actually used the inbuilt mic in the Nikon ZF, so that's another little test here. Let's see how it is compared to the GoPro. That'll be interesting. Um, I don't know if I'll put the two together here, but we'll see. So here we have the Indian Plum. So that's another little test that we're doing here, something that I've never tested before. Okay. That's it for me for today. I hope you enjoyed this little update. <laughs> well, not this update, but the announcement of the update for the Nikon ZFC. I guess it'll be of most interest to those of you who own the camera. But I hope it was generally interesting. And if you thought so, please do give this video the old thumbs up. And if this is your first time to my channel and you like what you saw, please do consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. In the meantime, take care. Cheers. We'll see you later. From the banks of the beautiful Souk River here in British Columbia. Yeah, I'm going to have a wander around, maybe make some more B-roll. It's beautiful out, actually. Just one more comment before I go about uh, springtime in the, I was going to say springtime in the Rockies. Springtime on the West Coast. Well, here we are. What is it? March the 6th or so. And it's now 5.30, maybe even getting on for 6. And it's still light, which is really awesome. <laughs> We're on the upside now. <laughs>